Okay, so I'm going to show you a superior way to apply a button to a fishtail bracelet. This is my cool little jig. I'll show you how to do it in another video. I'm going to be using Velcro to attach these. Alright, now, many will say to attach it on the last band. I prefer to attach it on the first band. works best that way. You'll find you'll understand why at the end. Um, just like human children, dogs will talk when you want them to be quiet. So there is the button on the first one. Notice it's the loop style button in the back, not the hole style button. I've got two other bands, and I bring the ends up over. Ooh. I'll grab the ends of the very bottom one, bring it up over. Oh, did that go over? Nope. Ah! Stay dang you! Then we continue. If you happen to like the colors that I've chosen, these are glitter bands. and they're transparent, have glitter in them. They're very nice. They have a very pretty effect. I'm going two green, five pink. I have it set up so that I can just mindlessly grab bands and go with it. That's the cool thing about having this jig, having the extra long piece of wood means I don't have to hold the jig down. See, the weight of the jig holds its own self down. I don't have to hold it down while I'm doing this. Makes life a whole lot easier. And again, there will be three bands on the nail and you grab the one at the very bottom like so if I can grasp it because I have no thumbnails I'll have to jump that part out and grab it and pull it all the way to the top having a nice big head like that on the nails means it won't slip off while you're doing that. I'm going to try to keep this guy in the front here. Oh. Girl. Isn't she cute? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm just going to pause this and get show you the end. So here I am at the end. Now again, if you want to copy what I've done, I start out on three green bands, I ended on three green bands, but everywhere else there's two green bands between the five pink bands. Now, the original directions I saw for applying these said to apply it at the end, but when you do that you have to put the band over this way, and then the band over that way, and then the band over on the ends over this way, that way, blah, 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 blah. And it winds up with this big, clunky knot that just makes the buttons so that they stick out and look odd. But as you can see with this completed one, he is staying in place, and he's not sticking out unnaturally. He's almost flush to the bracelet. But to complete this, it's very simple. We get her. Let's see. I'm carefully following it up so I don't end up having her twisted at the end. I don't want the bracelet twisted. I make sure the bracelet is laying totally flat. And I brought up my brought her up, and here I go. Taking these two last bands, I find that two works the best. Having the last two bands over because it makes 
the button stay put. We have the last two over. Okay, so boop. And then grab the other side ever so carefully. And they're very stretchy. They are rubber bands. And pull her through again. Boom. Give it a little stretch this way and that way. Whoop! Stuck there, isn't it? Shucks. Get off of there. There. Do a little stretchy, stretchy poo poo. Stretchy, stretchy poo poo. And it ends up lining itself up right nicely. There. Put it onto your subject's arm. Do, 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 do. And as long as you straighten the bracelet out. So it's not all twisted up. Boom. Just lays there nice and neatly. Ba -da -ba -bum. Right side up and everything. Kinda does itself. Ta-da! Gorgeous, ain't it?